Savannah State ladies on the home hardwood Monday night. Tigers hosting Fort Valley State, visiting Wildcats with the early lead. Here in the second half, Nikki Colbreth with the drive to the rack for two. Moments later, Diamond Jones shining on offense. She's got the nice drive to the bucket, putting Fort Valley up six, but Savannah State starts to warm up first in transition. Ball ahead for Ozana Maxwell, who knows how to finish the break. Then it's the terror from Trutland County, Leandrea Gillis getting busy from beyond the arc. She cans a triple. Gillis had the hot hand seconds later. She's getting a good look from long range again. Again, she's true on the triple. Gillis was six of eight from beyond the arc. Then it was back to Maxwell. She's going to finish another Tiger break with a bucket. She finished with a game high 27. Big second half sending Savannah State to their four straight win. Tigers taking this one 81-59 the final. We know that we have the offensive power, so that's why I can really stay calm because it's four quarters to a game. You don't lose a game in the first half. You win a game in the second half. The main thing for me was kind of just seeing the ball through the ball. And with us being down early, I felt as though if we just got a few stops, got out of transition, then, you know, if I was open, then it was just up to me to knock the shot down. And I was very fortunate enough for shots to be falling tonight. 